Juventus are having a bad season, which may be a little bit of an understatement to put it mildly. At the time of recording, they are 7th in Syria and 14 points off top of the table Napoli. But their poor league run and 4-0 Champions League defeat to Chelsea is only the peak of a very large iceberg. Dip below the surface and you'll find a fascinating story that the club's offices were recently raided by police who seized documents relating to player transfers and the club's financial accounts. A statement from a Turin prosecutor, Anna Loretto, explained that it was part of a wide-reaching investigation. The current focus was to see whether Juventus, as a publicly traded company, had issued false communications to its investors and invoices for non-existent transactions. Authorities are looking into 42 transfers between 2019 and 2021, including those of Cristiano Ronaldo, João Cancelo and Arta Melo, just to name a few. It is important to note that the players themselves have done absolutely nothing wrong, but their former club is facing allegations of inflating their values on the company accounts. It should also be noted that the club, its president Andrea Agnelli, vice president Pavel Nedved and Fabio Paradici, who's now at Spurs, are all cooperating with authorities. Juventus released the following statement. The company is cooperating with the investigators and with Consob, and trust that it will clarify any aspect of interest to it as it believes to have acted in compliance with the laws and regulations governing the preparation of financial reports in accordance with the accounting principles and in line with the international practice in the football industry and market conditions. In connection with the capital increase, which was resolved upon the shareholders' meeting on October 29, 2021, the company hereby confirms the timing disclosed in the press dated November 22, 2021, and accordingly that the period for the exercise of preemptive rights and trading of such rights will commence on November 29, 2021. Now, according to some of the more clickbait orientated websites, such as the Daily Mail and The Sun, they report that Juventus could indeed be relegated into Serie B and stripped of their most recent Serie A title. Now, where have we heard that before? The question is though, is it likely to happen? Well, the Italian Association for Consumer Rights, or Codicons, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, said to Football Italia if the club were found guilty of breaking the rules, then for this reason and to protect thousands of fans, we will present a complaint to the Antitrust and Federal Prosecutor's Office asking for the relegation to Serie B for Juventus and the revocation of the last league title one in the shadow of these potential illegal operations. So in conclusion, we don't know. That's the short answer. Whether or not Juventus will be plying their trade in Serie A or Serie B next season. Now insert a joke about Juventus's poor form getting them relegated to Serie B anyway. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, it really helps the channel out, and don't forget to come follow us on twitch.tv forward slash the football fan show where we're live every Saturday from 7 pm talking the latest football news, Premier League scores, and looking at those tables as well. Until then, see you next time.